The hype for paranormal activity has caused quite a stir in Hollywood. Hey, hey, I'm Matt Morrow. And I'm Jill Simonian. It's being released nationwide tomorrow, so everybody can see what exactly we're talking about. Our Steve Patterson talked to the writer-director about the hype, the buzz, the scare factor. This is a story you will see only on Hollywood Dailies. Feel it breathing on me. You got the idea for this after some kind of weird things started happening in your own life. Is that true? And if so, mm -hmm. what were these weird things? We had, you know, s things falling off shelves in the middle of the night that we're not supposed to. And I wasn't necessarily thinking, you know, <laughs> we gotta have a ghost in the house, but sure. it makes you wonder, you know, what, what goes on when you're asleep. shot this movie in your own house in about a week, but it took a year to really get everything right. Did, did family and friends think you were crazy? No, because no one knew what I was doing. I didn't tell <laughs> anyone. What, what was your, your filmmaking experience before that? I know that you were involved in, in developing video games and things like that. What about in filmmaking? Have you done anything? No, no, that's <gasps> the first thing I've done. Whenever DreamWorks says, hey, we're gonna do a remake, and then they actually watch the audience taking in your movie and mm -hmm. decide, we gotta do that. Was that just an elated moment? That, that was amazing. And then the next day, just to make sure they're making the right decision, yeah. they had Steven Spielberg watch the movie mm -hmm. to give his stamp of approval, and he loved it. So that was one of the most amazing moments of my life to hear that. There's an internet rumor about when Spielberg watched this. So what's the real story? What so happened? So the story that is that he watched the movie, and I think he watched it in his bedroom, and then like the next day, he tried to get back into his bedroom, and it was locked in from the inside. And he's like, I don't want this DVD anywhere in my house, <laughs> and they took it back to the office. Well, have you had a chance to talk with Steven Spielberg? No, not directly. So should, we should invite Steven Spielberg. You should have lunch with Oren. He'd love to chat with you. You guys can pick each other's brains. What's something that scares you that would kind of surprise audiences at home? Vegetables. <laughs> wait, wait. We got to unpack that. Vegetables scare you. Let's talk about that. I, I don't like vegetables. Have you thought about doing a horror movie about vegetables? Uh, I'm, I'm considering some ideas. <laughs> I'm Steve Patterson for Hollywood Dailies. Well, no one was more surprised about the success of the film than the director himself, and he has a lot to say about it. Steve Patterson has part two of his interview tomorrow here, only on Hollywood Dailies. All right, Matt, I'm going to get right to it. I got a little, you know, totally Hollywood story about this paranormal activity. Please share. A couple years ago, when I was still, uh -huh. I was working for Reels Channel in L.A., the guy who used to come to our office every single day and deliver us lunch had this DVD. No in way. His, okay. In his, you know, in his, uh, you know, library at uh -huh. home, a friend had given it to him, and he passed it on to me, and he said, "Jill, take a look at this. DreamWorks has purchased this, and they're going to turn it into a movie." I watched it, What'd scared to death. Yeah. And I said, "This thing's going to be a hit." I, so, I'm not kidding. Amazing wow. Hollywood story. You should pick more movies Dave like that. Dave the foodie guy. Dave the foodie <laughs> guy. Thank you for that. All right. Well, the rest <laughs> of us will be able to check it out when it uh, comes out on Friday. Yes. Yes.